Hey guys, uh, so before I do the formal introduction like I usually do, you're probably thinking um, if you're a male, so a father, or you're a female or a male that doesn't have children yet, this vlog is not for me. But guess what? There's also gems in here for you, so please do stay tuned, do not switch off. Trust me, there are gems in here for you also, and for me, because I'm not a mother either. So, now we move on. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and welcome to those just joining for the first time. Uh, thank you again. I will keep saying thank you because you guys are the ones that keep encouraging me to keep going, to keep doing these, even when I, um, I don't always feel the greatest. And this week definitely has been one of those weeks. I haven't been in the greatest mental space this um, week. Just hearing people be encouraged by it, I have to thank God for that. What God has given me to say, it did encourage me as I was speaking to God about this. So I pray it does the same for you guys as well. He had his way. So when I kind of brought this topic uh, to God and I was praying about it because for a while I couldn't think what I should do for this last vlog of March um, so I was kind of battling with it I was like I don't really know and then Mother's Day came up and um, I was like oh Mother's Day is going to be the 27th so maybe I should do something about Mother's Day but then I said but then not everyone is a mother not everyone has a mother unfortunately they may have lost a mother I may have not even known their mother so how do I do this God and um, I was kind of well I wouldn't say battling with it but I, with, I kept going over and over with it with God with it and then the night before I'm recording this I've been like I've, I don't know I couldn't sleep because I was like I really don't know how to make this relevant to everyone but I just thank God because he always gives me words to say um, when I don't know what I'm saying and I just pray that he is glorified so I want to talk about like kind of different types of mothers and I'm not talking about personality because we all kind of have different personalities so that could be a long long list but just kind of different circumstances or situations where these particular mothers are in so whether that's in um, as, as a single mother um, maybe became the person maybe or a mother that is had a child out of wedlock or maybe even a mother that has a husband um, as well and the reason why I kind of want to break it down because I feel like um, as, as they're collectively mothers um, but I feel like there's differences and different differings in, it, in the situations because you're in different situations but the first I will talk about is women that have had children out of wedlock uh, this is a very I feel like a big one when it comes to the Christian community um, in particular because unfortunately which which is sad um sometimes when this stuff happens because we we kind of all know about having um not having um sexual intercourse outside of marriage so then sometimes when we kind of see the evidence in the form of a baby and we know that person isn't married we sometimes are like hmm and we kind of look inside we're like hmm so you were doing something that you weren't supposed to be doing that kind of <laughs> if you guys get what i mean the kind of like judging stance and i i will say it is a judging stance um for some people um but i kind of want to encourage those um those mothers because it can be hard especially if you're part of a christian community because people do look at you in that way but the thing is we all we all make mistakes and if we are to tell ourselves we never make mistakes we would be kidding ourselves because we were born into sin we're always making mistakes but we are covered by the grace and the blood of jesus and because of what he's done we don't have to carry that guilt along with us we can be forgiven and we are forgiven by god but aside from that and aside from that feeling um which i can only imagine is hard um i i not i'm not in that predicament i've not been in that predicament but i can understand and imagine that's hard because i know certain friends that have been in this predicament and you kind of feel like everyone's looking at you sideways um people are not like like i said like the kind of judgy look but i want to encourage those mothers um to keep going um 
because the thing is god um is not looking at you and saying oh you've messed up now i'm going to leave you by yourself no god never does that um god is a god of love and he he loves you partial mistakes he loves you so much and yes okay we make mistakes and when we make mistakes there are consequences that's such a natural thing it could be with anything but it doesn't mean that those consequences are the absence of god and this is something that i was kind of going into um in my previous vlog that i i um did and i just want to encourage you just to keep holding on to keep going to keep doing the best that you can as a mother for your child for your children and to know that you're never alone even if it feels like no one else is supporting you no one else is giving a helping hand to the whole situation god does and that kind of leads on to kind of the next two categories of types of mothers so those um single mothers that could be the ones that had um, children out of wedlock um so that could be they could also be single mothers or it could be someone who was maybe married had children and now unfortunately uh, for some reason the marriage broke down or maybe that part their husband is um no longer with them or not alive um and all kinds of things can make end up people end up being a single mother maybe for adoption as well um i know people that have gone through that and i also want to offer this similar encouragement that you don't have to do it alone um, yes, it's very, very difficult, I can imagine, to feel like you are doing it alone. Even if you have family and friends around that are there, are willing to support you, are there to help you out, I don't know, with like the shopping for children and stuff like that. Um, it's some, it, I know, I can imagine that because people are not there 24 seven, they don't see when the baby is waking up. They don't have to be the one that's with that child um, 24 seven, whilst also making money to maybe support the child. But I just want to say well done to those mothers because I have, and I know so many of those single mothers and like you guys are just amazing. Um, the way that you put your children before yourselves is um, something so admirable. And the strength, the sheer strength that you see in these mothers um, trying to play both roles is absolutely amazing. And um, I just want to encourage you to keep seeking God in, in helping you with this because God, again, like I said, for those that had children um, outside of marriage, um, God is not going to leave you. God never forsakes you for anything. And even though it feels like something is missing, God can definitely fill that void god is the perfect father god is the perfect parent so even when you feel like you're falling short god is there and again this is the same encouragement that i offer for those uh, mothers that are um that have husbands that are that are helping to share the load um i encourage you too because it's not easy as much as you still you have more of the support than um a single mother would it's still not easy it's it's a lot and even when I was speaking to, so um, my, um, one of my aunties is a mid, uh, midwife. Well, I think she's still a midwife or she may be an ex midwife now, but even when I was speaking to her, um, I don't know why we were just having one of those random talks and we were talking about kind of the changes that a woman's body goes through when she's um, pregnant and then when she gives birth and then even after birth and a wow, I <laughs> like, I, I, I felt like I kind of knew this stuff from doing biology at school, but I never knew the depths of it like I would get from a perspective of a midwife. And when she was saying the amount of changes that your body goes through preparing for um, the baby, then when you're pregnant and then after the baby's gone, how your body basically never goes back to what it was originally. I just have to really take my hat off as the saying goes to mothers because they do a lot and not just um, what they do after the child, like raising the child and everything, but what their bodies have to go through. And I just have to give glory to God because he has made um, women's bodies amazingly. Like just, I, I just not to be so graphic, but even to push a baby's head out of such a small hole and all the structural stuff that have to go on um, to when you're in labor, when you're giving birth, it's absolutely amazing. And then, as I said, the kind of the aches and the pains that go along with when the child is growing up, it's not easy, but as for all situations and those 
that are playing the roles of mothers okay you um, so males that might, might be mother and father as well I'm speaking to you as well okay you may not go through the changes that um, a woman goes through when she's given birth and everything but um, even you being there and raising children and maybe you're raising children by yourself so sing as I said single not just single mothers but single fathers too that are raising children that are the mother and the father for children I take my hats off to you all because I know like hearing stuff um, from single parents hearing stuff even from my own mum and all that you have to sacrifice I would say is so admirable it's so amazing and it kind of makes me think more about how God is and how God gives so much to us God is the perfect parent like human parents mess up and you may have had a mother um, that was not amazing um, unfortunately you may not have your mother anymore and sometimes that those kind of situations you kind of feel like you're you miss things out and sometimes it, it is a sort of missing stuff out but God is the perfect parent God is better than we could ever be not to make you feel discouraged but it just to encourage you that because he is better than us he is perfect he is the perfect parent that God helps God is able to work in and through all of the parents all of the mothers the single parents and when we kind of think of parents or single parents but mothers sometimes we don't really I don't know well me I don't personally think of God when I'm thinking of mothers I'm like God is not female but, but the thing is females mothers male female were made in the image of God it tells us so in the word of God so we must there must be characteristics that mothers have that single parents have that come from God because we were made in God's image and with that being said we know that God then is able to help us in these situations these circumstances that we go through as I said there's gems for us all in this vlog because because of God being a perfect parent he knows exactly how to help us through stuff he does so much for us provides for us cares for us like a parent does but to a better um to a better extent um because he is perfect because he has no flaws and i just want to encourage you in that in the fact that god is the perfect parent that whether you're a mother yet that with god god will give you the strength to keep going god will give you the strength to keep fighting to keep pressing on to keep looking after to striving for the best for your children because guess what you are his child you may be a mother to someone else but God is still your parent God is still your father and he cares about you and he is going to help you through this and I just want to leave you with this that you are doing well and keep going keep pushing on keep fighting on because God is watching everything and God will keep giving you all that you need to provide and I pray that we and all of us here do not just celebrate mothers or those that play the role of, mo of a mother just on Mother's Day, but we celebrate our mothers um, and those that have played mothers um, or played the role of a mother in our lives, that we think of them, that we, we give them a break. We allow them to, so all the lovely stuff that we do for mothers on Mother's Day, like taking them out for something to eat, pampering them perhaps, all those things. I pray that we continue to do that not only in as I said for Mother's Day but we do it all the time because they're doing a lot of work and they're they are working hard trying to do the best and they truly are a blessing from God I wanted to leave with a verse um, taken from Isaiah 49 verse 15 and it says can a woman forget her nursing child and not to have compassion on the son of her womb and that kind of so that's part of the verse and that kind of is that reminder that a mother and the love that a mother has for her child is like no other um and they won't forget their child 
they are constantly there providing for their child and then it goes on to say a little bit extra it says surely they may forget we're sinful human beings we're not perfect yet i will not forget you and that is where as i said it takes god comes and is the perfect parent so those single mothers those um mothers that may have had children um, outside of marriage those mothers that do have a husband those fathers that are playing the role of mother and father i pray that you'll be encouraged to keep going and to never forget that god has blessed you with children god has given you the ability to look after children and those that play the role of mothers that maybe be aunts or um maybe i don't know cousins that play the uh, role of a mother that God sees what you're going through, God sees that you're trying and that God is there and he is willing and able to help you through it. So just keep trusting, keep leaning on God because he is the perfect parent. So I pray that you did have a good Mother's Day. For those of you that celebrated it, I know it's not Mother's Day for everyone, but in England it was on the 27th. But I just pray that you were encouraged and blessed by this vlog. I will see you guys by the grace of God in two weeks time. Bye. And now this